we as an organization have gone into different places uh, for town hall meetings, and we've been using this chart as uh, one of the elements that we we consider when we decide where to go. Uh, down in Tennessee, we were down there in Nashville and Memphis, and those are both one-star facilities. So those are uh, 19 of the 143 uh, I'm sorry, 146 uh, VA hospitals. 19 of them are one star, um, and it's about the equal number that are five stars. Um, so this is this is showing us where they need to to focus. Um, we think that it needs to drill down a little bit deeper than the overall medical center. They need to be looking at by the departments. Uh, some have great uh, cardio um, a cardio department in this hospital, even though the overall hospital is poor, or vice versa. Um, some of the disappointing things that we saw here, um, New Orleans, which is a brand new hospital, Denver, which is a brand new hospital. They're both one and two star facilities. Uh, we think when we're talking about great, uh, these great, these great structures and the infrastructure they've put in and, and millions and billions of dollars, um, those should be some of the top hospitals, uh, Cleveland, which is one of the newer hospitals, is a five-star facility. So that's good. So we can look at some of these five-star hospitals and really start trying to figure out who should be uh, emulating them. Um, Phoenix, which was the the epicenter, the ground zero of, right. of the big scandals uh, that really rocked the VA uh, back in a uh, cost. General Shinseki, his job as a secretary, um, that's a one-star facility still. Um, so we're really disappointed in that. And we're going to actually be going down. And that's, uh, I'll be missing a show, or we might have someone else in here. I might be able to call in from uh, Phoenix, but we're going to be going down and doing a town hall meeting later this month in Phoenix. Um, and as soon as this, as soon as this uh, came out, we knew we need to do that. We need to go talk to the veterans. We need to find out why, from their perspective, it's a one star facility. 